you're gonna fall. You're gonna fall off the bed, Stella. You're gonna fall. There you go. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 4 p.m. And Stella's been taking a nap on the bed today. And here's Splash, and Simba's up there too. They're on top of the armor right now. They're just hanging out. Simba was taking a nap in the round tub up there. And Splash is just seeing what's going on. Here's Boo. Boo's been sleeping on his day sofa today. How you doing, Boo? And here's Hydrox. Hydrox was laying in the sun by his shelter pretty much most of the day. I've been outside for the past few hours doing some work around the patio. I've been starting to do some cleanup work and some planting. So in these two flower pots, I planted some peas. I don't know if they're gonna grow or not because I use seed packets that I've had for a while. Um, so we'll see if they grow great. If they don't, that's fine too. This is the pot of strawberries from last year. I have to clean that out. I'm only going to try to do a little bit every day, like maybe two hours a day of outside work because I, I just have so much to do. I'm juggling a lot of work. You know, this working from home stuff for some people gives us a lot more work than we normally have. And for other people, they have plenty of free time, but it's the opposite for me right now. And then these two pots are from last year also. I cleaned all the leaves and debris off of them. And I believe one is blackberry and the other is boysenberry, or one's blueberry. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which is which. So then I cleaned out this tub and I put some new soil in it. And this has radishes. And once again, I don't know if they're going to grow because I was using some seeds that are a few years old. So we'll see. And these two tubs have beets. Again, I'm using seeds that I've had for a while. Don't know if they're going to grow, but if they do, great. And then this is a Live Forever that Grandma Farrell gave me and I just replanted it in this pot. I don't know where I'm gonna put that. I'm still figuring that out. And this is some lettuce that just decided to grow on its own. So we'll just see how that goes. And then in these three pots, um, I planted some catnip, some lavender, and some Swiss chard. And I know I spelled lavender wrong. And we'll see if these grow again. I'm using some seed packets that I found in the garage. So I don't know how viable they are. We'll just see what happens. And over here I have lettuce, lettuce, and spinach. And again, we'll see if anything grows. And right now it is really warm in this greenhouse. It has this brand new cover on it, which is definitely doing its job. It's keeping everything nice and warm during the day. And at night, obviously, uh, the temperature will dip down. But for right now, uh, I'm really happy with the new cover. It's 6.50 p.m. I gave Hydrox some dinner. He's having two scoops of the homemade duck food along with some water mixed in. He ate all of it. So now I'll give him some canned food. And here's Stella. Stella wants to know what's going on. Is Hydrox going to come up to the door and say hello to Stella? Hello, boo.
It is 10.49 a.m. And Splash is hanging out on the bed. She's just relaxing. The cats had their breakfast a little while ago. And there's Stella. She's hanging out on top of the cat tower. She's taking a nap. Here's Simba. He's on top of the sofa. I guess he's looking out the window through the curtains. And this is Boo's room. So what happened was he wasn't eating his breakfast unless I put crunchies on it. So then I put it in his room so none of the other cats could eat it and I shut the door and I totally forgot. So let's see what Boo's doing. And here's Boo, he's hanging out by the window. He's a very happy boy. He loves hanging out on the cat condo in the sunshine. And there's Hydrox. I just opened the door a few minutes ago and I was like, hey Hydrox, you want something to eat? And he was meowing at me. So I'm putting some food together for him. The noise in the background is the kettle heating up. It's about 11 p.m. I'm getting ready for bed. And it looks like Stella's going to be sleeping on the bed tonight. I hear Boo walking in the room. Is Boo going to jump on the bed with Stella? Sometimes they both like to sleep on the bed. They take different sides. I just wash my hands and Stella loves the soap. She loves the smell of soap. Right, Stella? Hello. It looks like Boo's going to go on the cat tower instead. Yeah, he just jumped up to the top. That's what Stella's looking at right now. Okay, Stella. Did you have a nice day, Stella? Sometimes the cats like to sleep on my hand like it's a pillow. Like you see what Stella's doing right now? Yeah, she likes to sleep like that. And Boo also likes to sleep like that. They like to use my hand as a pillow. But I'm going to move my hand because, you know, I still want to get ready for bed. Okay, Stella. Okay. Time to get ready for bed, okay? Okay. Rub your belly. Okay. You're a pretty girl, Stella. Okay. Sweet dreams, Stella. Sweet dreams. Okay. We're going to get a good night's sleep. So it's been a few days with uh, this... I don't know if it's actually like a lockdown, but um, everyone in New Jersey has been encouraged to stay home. I have not gone anywhere in like over 48 hours now. And I'm like starting to get used to it. And it's becoming like the new routine. Which, uh, which is good. It's a lot less stressful 
it's a lot more peaceful and it's very productive at least for me I mean I have so much to do with this new work from home thing so it's a lot I've been getting stuff done outside and inside and the cats want me to spend more time with them but I've been spending a good amount of time playing with them. Okay, Stella. I'm going to finish getting ready for bed, okay? I'm tired too, okay? Good morning, Stella. It's about 8 a.m. And I'm getting ready for my day. And Stella has wanted lots of pets this morning. And now she's getting brushed. Oh, you're going to fall. You're going to fall off the bed, Stella. You're going to fall. There you go. So right now it's about 8 a.m. And Stella slept on the bed all night. She did get up this morning. When I woke up, I don't know where she was. But after I uh, started going about my day, then she came back. And you look so lovely, Stella. You look so pretty. You look so nice with your fur brushed. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Don't lick it. You holding my hand? You holding my hand? You're done? You're saying you've had enough? Mm -hmm. Okay, you've had enough. As soon as I get this other side, then you've had enough, Stella. Okay. Good morning, Boo. How are you today? It's 9.39 a.m. and I just put Boo in his room with his breakfast because once again, he only took a few bites on the stairs. Like he would not eat with the other cats. He wanted to eat on the stairs. He only took a few bites and then he got distracted. He was looking at the other cats. So I just put him, so I just put him and his food in his room. Yesterday he was perfectly happy. He ate his breakfast and then he was laying by the window. So he should be doing the same thing today. But I don't want this turning into a routine. It is 8.22 AM and I'm sitting here in the living room and I'm playing with the cats. We have a morning routine where we play with the laser pointer and we also play with the wand toys and I just kind of rotate through the toys and make sure the cats get some exercise, run around a bit and I was just playing with the laser pointer and Boo was sitting on the rug. So here's Splash, he's on the far side of the rug and there's Simba, they're kind of Splash was here, Simba was running around, Stella's sitting here watching everything, and Boo was sitting right here. And what happened was, I was playing with the laser pointer where it's Splash, like right around here, just like this, and Boo was watching. And he was just like getting mad and mad, and then all of a sudden, instead of going after, you know, the laser, he went after Splash, and he just kind of like hit him and attacked him. And I was like, boo, what are you doing? And then he backed off, but Splash was like very upset from it. So I don't know what's going on with boo. I think maybe, maybe some misplaced aggression. He should be, you know, playing with the laser. And instead he uh, decided to attack Splash. I don't know. But um, right now he's sitting on the other side of the room. Here's boo right now. He doesn't want to play with the laser. He just is like mad at the other cats for playing with it.
I'm sitting down to eat some breakfast and look who's joining me. Stella. She likes to sit here and look at what I'm eating. And she likes to look outside and look at the birds. Right, Stella? Right. It's 9.09 p.m. and Stella's hanging out on top of the cat tower. She loves this cat tower. She likes to sit here and watch me if I'm working on my computer on the dining room table. And there's Bowie just jumped down from one of the round cat beds by the windows. Hello, Boo. And look who I found on top of this cat tower. It's Splash. He's hanging out over here. This room was dark. I just turned the light on. So it looks like he was taking a nap. And here's Simba. Simba's all curled up on the bed. They're all taking their after dinner naps. Who wants crunchies? You want some crunchies? You gonna have crunchies? Okay, ready guys? Ready for crunchies? There's one. Two. Over three and four crunchies. Okay, ready, guys? Who wants crunchies? Ready? Here, move over. Crunchies for everybody. It's about 11 p.m. right now, and the cats are having some crunchies. I did not have a chance to film much of anything today. It's been a very, very busy day. So the cats are getting Whole Earth Farms, uh, the indoor dry cat food, indoor adult dry cat food. They get about two tablespoons as a snack at night before bed, and then they all sleep really good all night, usually. Sometimes Splash and Simba will wake up at like 4 a.m. and start running around the house. but they've definitely come to expect some kind of nighttime snack. And I actually put out a, um, a small can of cat food that I was gonna give to them instead of crunchies, but I've just been really busy tonight. So working from home has me working a lot more hours. And um, then I was trying to get some stuff done around the house this evening. And then the next thing I know, it's 11 p.m. And I'm like, oh my gosh, where did the day go?
You done, Simba? Would you like some more crunchies? Do you guys want some more? Want some more crunchies? Okay, guys, you want some more? We can have some more. Okay? Okay. Ready, guys? Okay. We'll have more crunchies. Oh, oh, I missed that one. That one made a mess. Okay, go splash. Eat the crunchies. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.